let's start with handler digit action method you see whenever we press the button this method is called and we need to identify which button we have pressed that's why we need to create an object that gets the value of this button let's create the object string digit object event dot get source dot get text and this object is button type so let's casting it and so we have the value of the button that we have pressed let's create an string variable old text that takes the value of this screen and another string variable new text that appends the old text and the digit object old text plus digit object and the text field will display the new text set text the new text that's why whenever we click file the text field gets the old text actually for the first time it is empty and then append five with the empty text and again whenever we press six it takes the old text and append the new text six with the old text and displays it so this is the handler digit action method let's deal with handler decimal action method you see we can add two float numbers like 7.3 plus 0.5 is equal 7.8 but you see we cannot enter the decimal point more than one time in a number so we need to check that whether we have entered a decimal point or not if we didn't enter a decimal point then we have the access to enter a decimal point but we have entered it once then we are not permitted to enter it again so we need to check it first that's why we need a variable that will check this operation so create a variable integer decimal click so private integer decimal click is equal zero initially so if 
decimal click is equal zero then we can append it to this screen so the same operation like the handler digit action for this decimal button let me copy this and paste it for this time the object will be decimal object and after entering a decimal point value we cannot enter it again so we need to make the decimal click to 1 once the decimal click variable is 1 and we want to enter it again you see this piece of course will not be executed that means whenever this method will be called nothing happened so let's run the program let's check it 4.3 sorry again let's run the program 2.3 actually I did a mistake here so let's go to scene builder and text field open its property and set the alignment center right and node orientation left to right or inherit save it and let's again run the program 4 sorry 4.5 you see this time it works correctly now we will give the functionality of these buttons except this one so the method for this button is handler general action method and at first we need to identify which button we have pressed that's why we need to create an object of that type button then the action will be specified for corresponding is button 